This is a video on slope in Unit 3 Analytic Geometry. So here we have a line on our graph, and we've learned this in the past. How do we calculate the slope of a line? So it tells us, the slope of a line tells us, um, it kind of tells us the steepness of a line. So what we're going to do is we'll pick two points on the line, any two points but ones that are easy to read. And we're gonna calculate the rise over the run. So that's the formula we learned in class. So we call this the rise, and we call this the run. So to calculate the slope of a line, we use the formula rise divided by run. So this, this line right here would have a rise of 1 and a run of 2 because it goes over 1, 2, and it goes up 1. So our rise would be 1 over 2, or 1 half. So that's how we calculate slope. Let's try another one just to make sure we understand. Okay, so here's our grid. Let me make a line. So let's see, this is our line. Oh, sorry, I'm really bad at drawing a line. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, redo it. It's not that good. Okay. Okay, let's see. This is our line. And we want to find the slope. So we can pick two points on our line. And we can calculate the rise and the run. So sometimes we use the letter M for slope. So I'm going to use M is equal to rise over run. So the rise of this line is 1, 2, 3, and the run is 1. So the slope of my line is 3 over 1. Um, and actually in this case it's going to be negative 3 over 1 because we learned this in scatter plots that when the line is sloping down to the right, it's a negative slope. Or I guess you can kind of think like if you're starting at this point, you're going over one to the right, positive, and down three. It's like negative three. So our slope would be negative three. So yeah, all lines that are sloping up to the right are positive, and lines that are sloping down to the right are negative. Okay, so. Here is an alternative way you can calculate the slope. If you actually know the coordinates of the points, so like this coordinate right here would be one, two, three, negative three, one. So that's how we would write that point. And this point down here, I'll just use another color, this purple point would be negative two, negative two. So you can actually use this formula to find the slope of a line. It's just like rise over run, um, but it uses, it calculates the differences in the y values um, and the dif dis differences in the x values. So the formula is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So the formula looks confusing, but it's not. These little subscripts, the ones and the twos, they don't mean anything in the equation other than they want to differentiate the point. So the, so it's for example like this point down here could be x two y two, and this point up here could be x one y one. So it's just describing like this is the first point and this is the second point. It's just distinguishing between the two coordinates. Okay, so to use this formula, we just sub in our points. So y2, we're saying is negative two, minus the other y value, which is one, divided by 
x2, which is negative 2, minus this x1, which is negative 3. So you're just subtracting the two y values. So this has a y value of 1, and this point has a y value of negative 2, and we're just subtracting them, negative 2 minus 1. And then on the denominator, we're just taking the x values. So this has an x value of negative 2, this is negative 3, and we're subtracting them. So if I just do this math, negative, one, negative 2 take away 1 is negative 3. And then on my bottom, I know that the two negatives in a row are going to turn that into negative 2 plus 3. So it becomes negative 3 over 1. So the slope is negative 3, which we already knew because we did already calculate it. So it's the same thing as doing rise over run. It's just using this, like a formal equation. Let's try another one. So let's say I gave you... Well, let's use another graph. So let's say we had two points. Let's use this point. It's 2, 3. And let's use this point. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 5, 6. Now, if we wanted to calculate the slope of a line that was made between these two points, we can. So we can actually calculate the slope made between those two points by doing the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So all you do is subtract the y values. So we got a y value of 6 and 3. So 6 minus 3. OK, your next step is to subtract the x values. Now you got to make sure, since you started with the 6 on the y's, you got to start with the same point, so 5 minus 2. So you subtract the x values from each other, 6 minus 3, and then you subtract the x values. So the y's are on top, x is on the bottom. So 6 minus 3 is 3, 5 minus 2, also 3, 3 divided by 3 is 1. So this line actually has a slope of 1, which you can see. It's going over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1. And now you don't even need a graph. Someone could give you two coordinates, like negative 5, 4, and 0, 10. And you could find the slope that's formed between those two points. If there was a line that was formed between those two points, you could find the slope of it by simply using your equation, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So let's subtract the y's, 10 minus 4. Let's subtract the x's, 0 minus negative 5. 10 minus 4 is 6. 0 minus negative 5, remember the two negatives in a row actually make, oops, 0 plus 5, so it would be 5. So the slope is 6 over 5. So there you go. That's how to find slope.